to just vibey vibes welcome let's talk about love island tonight episode for me i don't understand why is sammy pissed about sammy is like oh it's just one statement that she's talking about sammy please you're just lucky that the producers are even nice to you they don't even remember to bring all the times that you've been talking oh god but i just want i think the president have decided that there's no couple this season that like please can we just have couple that even actually like themselves little in this this because if they wanted to destroy whatever you and jess have they would have because of your mouth that you were true 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 before anyway so when sammy was talking to um to uh Kat, Catherine was there I was really surprised that Catherine could talk sensibly now because I always knew her to be sensible, obviously, the way she was speaking before. She always speaks maturely with sense and calmly. She doesn't even get mad when she has even had opportunities to get mad. But so I'm like, oh, so you, I thought that kind of disappeared when she went to Casa, but apparently she still has that. Wow, who can believe that? Um, the guys were talking about Mitch and then and they did speak to Mitch. Mitch is trying to make it seem like those things were taken out of context, except this exact situation. No guy, nothing was taken out of con con <laughs> context. That's how you have been. But it's funny, you're kind of desperate a bit, but then oh poor Mitch. I was so happy that at least Mitch has even found somebody. But they are like, no, Mitch, you shall remain single until the final. <laughs> because I said it. Did I not say? I said that if that girl that came for Mitch has come before, she would have not gone for Mitch. She would have just been lying to other guys. I did say it, and voila, it happened. All of a sudden, she uh, the moment Scott just showed her uh, a bit of attention. I need to maybe watch her Casa clip to see if who did she even like. Maybe I'm sure Scott was among them. Because the moment Scott showed this girl a bit of attention, she's like, let me go and tell Mitch. I, I, I don't date two people. Before, you know, she went and told him, kind of nicely tell him, and then jumped to score and Tell him as if she just said that, oh, I'm going to crack on with him. And like, oh, you know, I don't date two people. And, all that. and she was laughing. Oh, God. And then they were not sharing Mitch's sad face. I actually felt bad for Mitch. For once, I actually thought that he's found somebody. And you see, producer, this is why you don't rush. There are people that have been there since. You do not give them this. Now you rush and give them this. Maybe there will even be no day because they are recoupling tomorrow. We don't know. If they ask Scott to choose first, then maybe Scott is going. I don't know who is which people are picking. If it's the girls that are choosing, I think maybe they should let the girls choose so that the girls go with their heart. So if it's the girl that's choosing and then they ask that girl to pick first, we will see who she's going to pick honestly. Like, funny. Anyway, and Ty and Ella, they had their chat. He's, he's so pissed. He cannot take all his dishes. Like, he's trying to say, Oh no, I'm not mad anymore. I'm forgiving you. I'm not gonna go back to it. But you know that when someone keeps saying, "I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you," because they know that they have to forgive you. They know that they need to forgive you. But deep down inside, they wanted to prolong this one, but they don't want to be petty. They don't want to like you know keep beating a dead horse. So what can he do? He has to forgive because there's nothing really big that she has done. He just doesn't like her. Like he did not even like Ella talking to Scott, and they were not touchy feely. They were nothing. They were even talking about him, unknown to him. Let alone, so you imagine how he feels. Like, my guy can no one take it. And then, um, Whitney and Lurkan, please, what's happening? Every night, you guys just be kissing, eh? Whitney, Whitney, what's happening? Okay, I see you, girl. I'm happy for her anyway. Although, I don't care whether she finds love or not. I'm just, but I'm happy for her that she's happy. I want her to be happy. So, it is what it is. Then, um, Katie and Uzi. You know what they were showing it? Because I read on Twitter. Sometimes maybe I should stop going to Twitter. I know a few years ago, I never used to go to Twitter when Love Island is going on. I will always go to Twitter after the episode I've reviewed and all of that stuff. But this time, after first look, sometimes I just maybe, maybe when I'm on the train coming back from to, from work, I just go through Twitter a bit. And which is a mistake that I, do, I did today. Because sometimes I see some things that I don't like to see. I don't like to know. And then I read where they said that um, a girl is going to crack on with a guy. They are going to get along. And I was thinking, is it Katie and Uzi? Because they were talking. They got along. They are beautiful people. Katie is very beautiful. Uzi is very beautiful too. So I was like, okay, is it them? But then, voila, it was not them. It was Scott and Abby. But anyway, now let me go to um Katie. I want to say that Katie, she looks stunning. That girl is beautiful. And Uzi is beautiful. God, if those people ever couple up and have a child, then it is over. Like, it is over for people on the street. Like, run away, hide your face, literally. But anyway, my thing is that, okay, you and him, you're getting along. Why are you bringing Scott into it? Oh, I know Scott is single. We know that you like Scott. Scott has never shown any interest since this whole Kassam thing. He has been mourning his loss. So, please, don't bring Scott into it. Honestly, I would just, like, take Scott's name out of your mouth. Zach and Molly. 
God, Princess, why do you do this to us? Now she was that again. I break. Anyway, can we talk about um until this thing? I don't know. I guess I don't really like these people because me, I'm someone that would have been like, oh, oh, oh. I did not own oh, one beat. Like I just thought, okay, he said that. So like I did not feel anyway. I kind of feel like maybe he's faking it. I don't know. Montel, I always thought Montel was like really genuinely likely. I thought that honestly, I really thought that Auntie Casamo, it was not even the way he moved, it's the way he disrespected Tick. So I kind of feel like if he can do that to someone, I just think that he would do that to her. If not that she is at the position whereby he feels like he needs to be with her. So I kind of see him like maybe being an opportunist in a way. And maybe like you know, the way this guy was, I don't like peace, I like problems. So Deji and that girl whereby he was like we all thought like we really liked them together and then they got out of the villa and he never even said hello to her i don't know he's giving me that vibe i can't lie to you so i don't know how i feel about it so that maybe that's why i'm not owing and owing and all of that stuff i like the fact that when scott was talking to abc he would have gotten to know gabby i said it i said if you watch my previous uh, review i said that scott really liked gabby he knew that he liked gabby but he was just like one me and uh, um Catherine has it so good, he'd not even give her a chance. He'd not even like try to explore. That's one thing with Casa. You should try to explore. So that when you explore, then you decide, do I want to be this person or not? That's where he made the mistake. He should have explored, but it is what it is. But it's a good thing he's on his own anyway. He's gaining fans. Anyway, Scott is smiling again when he's talking to AB, and I'm happy about that. So that's that for tonight's episode. I can't wait for tomorrow night. Bye-bye.